Good morning and welcome to Morning Meditation. We're going to finish up Psalm 23 this morning. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemy. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. David, through the Holy Spirit, could only say verse 6 because of the things that preceded it. He realized that, uh, the, yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Number one, we need to make sure that we're with the Lord and the Lord's with us. And the way we do that is by reading our Bible each day and letting the Holy Spirit speak to us. Uh, praying, we talked about that at church yesterday, and sharing our faith. When we do those three things, we know that the Lord's with us. Why? Because they're all according to His will. Uh, memorizing His Word, meditating on it. Uh, this book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night. And then uh, pray, pray without ceasing, and then share our faith. Uh, go into all the world and preach the gospel. When we do those things, we know thou art with me because we're fulfilling the will of God. But not only that, he said, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Uh, do you know that the correction of the Lord is uh, profitable for us? A lot of times we want to avoid that uh, part of the message here, but it says thy rod and staff. And so shepherd used his rod not to hurt the sheep, but to keep them going in the right path. And thy rod and thy staff. The staff was for uh, lifting the sheep up and guiding them in the right direction. We need to be guidable and teachable according to the Word of God. Let that be the rod and staff that directs and corrects. And then he says, Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. And so uh, the Lord's the one that prepares our path each day. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart. Lean not to thine own understanding, and all thy ways acknowledge him, and he'll direct thy paths. And so he's the one that leads us in the right path. We're so busy trying to lead him down our path, we forget that we're supposed to be going down his path, not leading our own path. And uh, it doesn't work when we decide, well, I'm busy doing this at work, I'm busy doing that with my life, and oh yeah, uh, I'll take just a moment to walk down. No, God's path is the right path at work, the right path at play, the right path at home, and the right path all the time. So for each one of us, he said, Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. When you talk about the oil in the Old Testament and the New Testament, that's always a symbol of the Holy Spirit. You and I want to make sure that every day we're filled with the Holy Spirit. The Bible's not going to command you to do something that God doesn't provide for you to do. So for each one of us in our lives, we need to make sure that we're filled with the Holy Spirit. Why? Because that is the anointing oil, and that's uh, what's going to make our cup run over. Uh, when we have the fruit of the Spirit in our life, we're going to, we don't produce it, the Holy Spirit produces it. And that's what's going to make our cup run over. And then he says, surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. Take some time today and recognize the goodness of God in your life. You know, it can be difficult and it can be uh, sometimes troubling here on this earth when we try to recognize the goodness of God, it's easier to look at uh, the things going wrong than the things going right. But I love the song Fanny Crosby wrote, Count your blessings, name them one by one, count your many blessings, see what God hath done. Take some time today and count the blessings of God in your life. See what He's doing, and then you'll be able to agree with the psalmist Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. I hope that's your prayer today. That's my prayer for you. God bless you and have a wonderful day.